must die. The spell shield may come in pretty clutch. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some auction Fiora to start our day with. Uh, we're going to have a deck built around our two champions, both auction and Fiora, and keep, getting them in play, keeping them alive using lots and lots and lots of combat tricks. And that's what it's going to be all about. It's going to be having our two champions win the game. The auction is going to be important. Uh, to be able to, you know, stay alive, get get this Warlord's Palace in play, count this down, because we're going to be targeting our own allies quite a bit, and try to get this Warlord's Horde in play. Once we have the Warlord's Horde in play, we can get one of these three cards, which are all be very good. Really, these two are going to be the most important ones, either the Font of Power uh, to draw two, or granting our champions everywhere a spell shield and plus two, plus two, you know, like one of those two choices, whichever one we decide. And then, of course, Fiora is going to be probably our main way that we will be winning games to actually win because if Fiora kills four enemies, then the game is over. And we're going to be using some different ways to buff it up. Um, you know, especially like getting that permanent plus two, plus two could really help. Um, but we have a lot of protection and uh, combat tricks and stuff like that to help Fiora finish the game. We're, we're going to be playing some Blade Keepers in here. They can gr be granting our champions plus two, plus two. It's a good good little support unit. Our other unit's going to be Bright Steel Protector with a barrier, and then the Vagabond that can start the Warlord's Palace going if we don't have auction, and maybe we get a vag Vagabond first, start the palace, you know, target our, our allies a bunch to count it down, and then have a leveled up auction. So whenever we do draw an auction, it's immediately leveled up and immediately gives us the Warlord's Horde. We got Spicy Chrono Shift in here. Costs a lot of mana, but it is really sweet. Uh, it could be awesome, so we got a spicy one of those in here. And that's kind of the deck. So let's give it a try. Auction Fiora. We'll go play five games in ranked. All right, so we got an auction deck as well. With Tarek. Our champions are super important. I think this is kind of a deck like where if we don't have champions, we mulligan. Not gonna lie. The sharp side is intriguing. I'm not sure. This is my first time kind of really trying out this grappling hook card. Not exactly sure how well it's going to do. We have auction, the other three mana card that's like auction that puts in the, the palace. And then we have um, uh, two copies of Preservarium. So we got those cards for the Shape Stones. What an awkward looking hand, huh? Two steps ahead. We just got a full house. Shape Stones and Grappling Hooks. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. I certainly think that they have shapes down in, in their hands. Why would it not be enough? Oh, because these things are only plus one, plus one. Right. They're not plus three, plus one. Don't love my options. So if I go Sharp Sight plus Grappling Hook, that'd be five mana. I'd have four left, so I could one Shape Stone. It's not really enough. I guess I could Grappling Hook the Vagabond. I know, right? Like one landmark, and we're looking a lot better.
got a good amount of spells out of their hand. Those cards definitely would have been very annoying. Yeah, I really wish our shape stones did plus three, plus one. Whatever it is, they liked quite a bit. Probably need to not allow them to attack, or you know, like try you know try using that. But they they had the they had the spells. The shape stones were just too awkward. Pretty awkward hand. So that was whenever they when they did the the zero mana predict draw card. That was the card that they had was the bastion. All right, so I like the auction and the blade keeper on the auction. And I think the Hourglass to Protect auction could go with the Chain Vest, but Chain Vest could also be just anything else, basically. It's it's fine, but not spectacular, right? And so that's why I'm just mulliganing it and see if maybe we hit a spectacular card. There's nothing wrong with it, though. Good people, don't look the other way. Um, we have eight landmarks in here. We have three of these auctions, three vagabonds, and two preservarium. And then, oh, and then hourglass. So hourglass could be a ninth way to make a, a landmark. Permanent plus two plus two is pretty nice. Beware. It's not safe. The whole world will know my anguish. Kinda wanna barrier in single combat and fight the Viego. I guess I maybe just go Blade Yeah, maybe just go Blade Keeper actually. That's probably the better idea. Yeah, a little strange they threw away the 2-3 instead of taking 4. Oh, sure. Take your time. I, love I guess so. I you. Yeah, so I, I could shapestone single combat the Viego. But I was worried about them killing the auction if I did that. I'm still a little worried. Because that, that would... If I do shapestone, shapestone single combat right now... Then they could still kill auction with like a. Um, okay, they're not going to. Uh, I was gonna say like a black spear, but now I don't think they're going to. So let's go ahead and just do this. Yeah, yeah, this is worth it. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. This is my first time ever getting a warlord sword. Third auction deck, first time <laughs> ever getting one. So they're at, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I could just kind of, I could just go all in and try to kill them with like Shapestone and add a Prismatic Barrier. How much mana am I going to have? I guess that, 
So oh, seven mana, that'd be two, four, five mana. So I'd only have two extra mana, so I would not have Prismatic Barrier. Available. I'm just gonna skip. Find us keepers. Maybe I should be taking that single combat, but I'm pretty happy we got this grappling hook. Alright, striking a Viego. Oh no! That's a really good ancient hourglass. Ugh, now we don't get the Warlord's Ward. So right now it's at three. So it's gonna go down to two. I guess I'm thinking if I'm playing this protector or not. Yeah. I need an Absolver, give Overwhelm. Oh, I thought that was the Absolver. Can either draw two, all of my things cost one less, give my champion spell shield and plus two, plus two. Grant all my enemies vulnerable and create in hand a zero cost copy of the strongest ally that died of this game. Have I even had an ally die this game? I guess I did. I had a Blade Keeper. Oh, there's no Absolver in this, this deck, is there? Yeah, it's really kind of built with for Fiora, isn't it? Oh, what's the plan? Give everything vulnerable, have my auction challenge Viego. I don't love that. Maybe it's just draw two, I guess. I don't know, giving Viego vulnerable is maybe better than drawing two. We'd also create a Blade Keeper in hand. I need to kill this Viego. Viego's incredibly powerful. Ugh. Well, so much for killing Viego. I do want the I do want this thing to strike, so I want to make another Warlord's Horde. So I don't want it just hourglass. Yeah, this just did not work out at all. Well, which would have just drawn two. Yep, definitely wish I would have just drawn two. Will this summon a Warlord's Palace? I guess it will, won't it? But man, yeah, Viego's just leveled up. This game's over. Can't block, of course, because if I if I block it all, the Viego is definitely leveled up. Yeah, Bobby says that Viego could really hard snowball. That was probably like what you did was probably your best choice. What are you doing playing that? Spec Spec Ops with the resub for the second month. Thank, thank you so much, there, Spec Ops. I really appreciate that. 
How are you liking the new champs? Auction is so much fun. They are both very good champions, both very fun. Um, yeah, I think they're I think they really made two strong champions for sure. So, um, but yeah, they're fun to play. They're, they are good. They are. Uh, they both kind of risen to the top of the meta game. Okay, so auctions, or sorry, so Viego's leveled up, so I think that should kill my auction, and if it does, the game's over. They had two really good cards you don't always see. Yep, alright. They had two really good cards that you don't always see in uh, those kind of decks, but the, the Quicksand was perfect, and the but really the Ancient Hourglass that saved their Viego, that was awesome. So both those cards, Hourglass, Quicksand, perfect cards for the perfect time. The second Viego, we killed the first one. I like the hand. Let's try it out. I do not break rules, I bend them slightly. I like that Chrono Shift a whole lot. The spirit gives to those who listen. Chrono Shift cool. We would have a good Fiora hand as well. Scores to settle, scores to kill. You know how it is. Yeah, I think. I, I talked about this like before like the brand new set came out, but like with the twin disciplines and Will of Ionia buff, I thought that that was going to be incredible for Lee Sin. I thought Lee Sin was going to be really, really good. And now uh, with the auction print, I think that has certainly helped out um, Lee Sin even more. And yeah, Lee Sin looks really good. Twin, I, I've always been really high on twin disciplines, but I feel like that card's too good for two mana. I really do. Yeah, Lee Sin's not an enjoyable card to play against. You know, whenever it dominated the metagame before, people really didn't like it, and I think it's I think it's here to dominate again. So auction champion spell is the grappling hook. I always thought the Twin Disciplines was worth that three. I played I played a good amount of Twin Disciplines at three mana. I think it was perfectly fine at three. Yeah, I don't I don't really know how he expected me to do that, Johnny Ryder. Yeah, this is maybe I need to mulligan everything looking for Fiora. I you know he said to try to keep them from leveling their champs. I don't our deck doesn't really do that, but they're they're just gonna have a draggling every single round to block my auction, so I don't really know. what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I, I think that if, if it was plus two, plus zero, or plus zero, plus two, I think that would probably be better for two mana. That would probably make more sense. Yeah, Lee Sin is too easy to level up. I wonder how Chrono Shift interacts with Dragon's Rage.
we have no chance of winning this game. Just no chance. They'll get their come up in soon enough. I don't really know what you do about Lee Sin, right? Like, what's what's just even like the best answer is to Lee Sin, just even in in the entire game. Like, I don't I don't know how you beat that card. What are like the good ways to beat Lee Sin? Anybody have any ideas? Cause I don't I don't know. Aggro can be like a, a good answer to it, but they do have the Eye of the Dragon. We saw that yesterday. We played like the Burn deck yesterday, and just got owned by Eye of the Dragon. Like Eye of the Dragon with pump spells of like buffing up Draglings. If they have Eye of the Dragon, you kind of lose. If they don't you probably win. It's, it's just like that kind of thing. Um, gonna look for champions. I could see keeping the Vagabond. Maybe I should keep the Vagabond. We're really a Fiora deck, as you can tell by like these spells and stuff. Like, Auction's kind of like our secondary thing, but we're really a Fiora deck. And since game one, we haven't seen Fiora at all. That's gonna hurt us. Yeah, hard removal can be good, but there is also deny, right? Like there's there's always deny. So it's not reliable. But it can be useful. Jack said they always had good success against Lee with Nightfall. Johnny Ryder said the best answer is Frostbite right now. I could see Frost Frostbite, okay. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. I think I want this single combat. What was theirs is now ours. Gonna go and take down this Viego first. My heart. Villains beware. And I guess I could trade. Sure. That's good looking golden ages. We're at three. Do need to be worried about um All right, so I'm worried about vengeance or like Will of Ionia, like I guess either one. I'm going to going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and go all in. Yeah. Why not? Going all in's fun. Give it that spell shield. We basically, play play the three spells to make that thing to give it spell shield. What's up, Fiora? Strike 
quickly. On guard. In and out. Our Viego opponents do have all the Viegos though. We had Oh man. Our first Viego opponent we, you know, killed the first one immediately, they played a second one. This one we killed the first one, then killed the second one, and now they played a third one. We have not had a Viego opponent that's like gone a turn without having Viego since round five. On any of these. It's pretty spicy. I think I'm gonna go barrier here. Probably draw two. Could give champions plus two, plus two, and spell shield again. No, I think we could go draw two. Alright, so grappling hook would kill the OG Viego, but then it would help these. Why is this thing an 8-8? Eight, eight? Shouldn't this be an 8-7? Why does this have one extra health? I would think it would be a visual bug too, but then it says this. It says it's not going to die. So I am concerned. I have my concerns. I guess, so that's, th this is supposed to be an 8-7. It should not be any different from these. So I guess I just have to waste this, this thing. I think Viego's bugged that sometimes it just gains an extra point of health for no reason. It's not big enough already. But yeah, I was worried about that. I was worried about like if, if we pass, they could just, you know, like their, their Viego would just automatically level up. Because they would just, all these things would die. And their Viego would level up and they would kill my champions. So I was very worried about that. Oh yeah, you're at eight. Okay. So if they they attacked the wrong way, they could have had a leveled up Viego. They attacked incorrectly. Yeah, let's make another Warlord's Horde. Oh sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. Surrender to me. So we've killed all three Viegos. Now they can... In fact, we've killed five Viegos now. <laughs> but they can Harrowing and put more in, or Rekindler. Like, there's ways to get more, but... Harrowing, Rekindler, but we've killed five Viegos. So far. I'll be very happy if all they do is just play units and have nothing but units. Alright, there we go. GG's. We gotta win. Vengeance with a smile. And we got Ezreal Karma for our last one. Yep, I will. Sorry, uh, Atticus, could you show the whole ruined event path? And I will right after this game. Sorry about that. Joined in. Our chain vest is going to do a good job protecting Fiora. Repost. Costs a lot of mana. I guess I'm going to send both those back. They could be... I like having these other cards too. They could be, you know, like Will of Ionia deck. And that's always a problem for Fiora's Will of Ionia. 
scores to settle, troops to kill. You know how it is. I'm gonna let this kill this. They got backup auction. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Two rounds. Not bad. Face me. Cool eye patch. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight. It's a good chance. Chance, like maybe I should have like waited for like this to go down and then play the vagabond for a new one. And you know, got in a second warlord's palace because they d does have the predict draw card. That's pretty valuable. Let's get that level up. We will predict and draw a card. I'm gonna take this Preservarium and get some more cards. What was theirs is now ours. Against the control deck. This is justice. I see every move. Man, auction's got a lot of value. Cool, got another. No Hexite Crystal, please. Three cards, thank you. That was chosen pretty quickly. If you want to protect one dude, Demacia. Ionia does a very good job of protecting one thing now with the Twin Disciplines buff and the different tricks it has. So I, I want to play this Shapestone... Because I want to get the Warlord's Horde, because to get, then to get a new Warlord's Horde, I have to strike or summon or level up. By my honor, you must die. The spell shield may come in pretty clutch. Because obviously I'm going to have my Fiora challenge to the Eye of the Dragon, so they don't want to take 10. They're going to have to play another blocker, which their deck doesn't normally play a whole lot of blockers. So, like, if they're looking at, like, a Karma or an Ezreal in their hand, they're like, I don't want to block with these things. And there they go. They'd rather just take their cards and go home. May not have the blocker. One step closer to a world without villains. And there we go. That was Auction Fiora. Our deck was okay. It wasn't necessarily spectacular, kind of struggled against some other auction decks and some other unit decks, like when we didn't have Fiora there, like games round, or like round two and round three. Uh, the the Lee Sin auction version does look like a pretty bad matchup. Uh, Lee Sin's going to pretty much own that up. But, but then again, you know, like they have Lee Sin, I don't have Fiora. Switch it around. Like if, if we play that matchup and I have Fiora and they don't have Lee Sin, you know, maybe we have a, a lot better chance, but...
Didn't get to do any kind of cool Chrono Shift thing, unfortunately. Um, Auction definitely feels really good, and I think that this is a good champion, and I've been very impressed with like the Vagabond, which I wasn't sure if it would be very good at first, but I think I think it is. I think Vagabond is worth playing. Um, I did like the Blade Keeper with our ch with our champions, but it's not perfect though. It's not perfect, but it's all right. You know, keep on keep on uh, trying stuff out and learning and uh, you know seeing different card combinations. But that's going to be it here for Auction Fiora. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the list. If you got any uh, improvements, feel free to put them down there in the comment section. Or if you're trying the deck out yourself, let me know how it's been going for you. I'd love to hear about it. All right, but that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.